Hey, what's going on everyone? Joel Wallace here. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set the back focus on the Fujinon 8 to 1 28 millimeter lens that comes with the Blackmagic Ursa Broadcast camera. So let's jump on in and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so one thing you might notice is that there is no setting back here to be able to actually adjust the back focus. So the way that this works is it's actually an electronic way to do it. So the first thing you'll need is you'll wanna get a focus chart or some kind of object that you'll be able to zoom off of. In this case, I just went on the internet, printed off something and that works just fine. Basically from there, you'll wanna have that focus chart about 10 feet away from your camera lens. So on the bottom side of the lens, you have your zoom rocker. You're gonna see a switch here that says manual and servo. We wanna make sure that we have it set to servo. Next, you'll see a button right next to it called FF. And this is how we're gonna be able to set this electronically within the lens. So the next step, what we'll want to do is we'll go ahead and hold down that F button. Usually it takes about five seconds. You'll see a red light blinking right in your zoom rocker. So the lens will automatically zoom in. From there, we'll pull our focus. Then you'll press the FF button. It'll automatically go to the wide. Then you'll pull your focus. Then we'll hit that button one more time. And now we should be in focus. Now, I did notice that it didn't look like it was in focus. So I kind of ran through it a couple times and I kept getting the same results. But in reality, when I actually went to go and check the focus, so I had zoomed in, focus, and then when I zoomed out, everything was in focus. So don't be alarmed when you go through this procedure that it doesn't look, it didn't look like it worked. It will work. So, um, but yeah, if you have any questions, I'll put my email address down below or feel free to ask a question in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, also put the links in here for the camera in case you're interested in getting one of these. It's a pretty sweet camera. I'm gonna be doing a video on this camera with the Fujinon lens and how you can use this. So be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you and see you soon.